My name is Elizabeth Limbaugh. My name is Jamie Carino. It's Tanisha Richardson. It's Marilyn Perez. I am Dream Team Coordinator at Vineyard, and together my husband and I have four beautiful daughters. They are 17, 14, 10, and 6. I have three sons. My oldest son is about to be 21. He is in the Marines. My middle son is a senior. He's 17, and my youngest boy is 11. And I'm a special needs assistant at Pembroke Elementary. I work with uh, the severe and profoundly disabled. I work in a medical field. So I am actually on the front line experiencing a whole COVID situation. I have a 13-year-old and I have a set of twins who will be seven months on the 5th of May. They're different in age range and I'm dealing with three different personalities. <laughs> so I'm a front desk clerk at Spring Hill Suite. I also have one daughter. She's a mix of Simone Filipino. Um, she is quite a character. He is 17 months going on to 18. Because moms, they already play so many roles in life, right? Like even before COVID. And now, would you say that's like intensified? Yeah, very much so. <laughs> it's like, okay, you need 10 more hats. <laughs> okay, so with that kind of same thing in mind, what has been the greatest challenge in you know, being a, a, a quarantine parent. Taking care of the kids' mental health. You know, they're sad, they can't see their friends, they're depressed, they're bored, they're lonely. Um, and, and that's really hard um, for me as a parent um, to, to see them go through all these emotions and have to be there to help support them through those emotions and, you know, get them past it. My biggest challenge is making sure that I am there for them. Remaining the same way when it comes to having that time for them. Uh, even though my work has increased, I am still there. I may not be here 24 seven, but I'm still there. I may not understand what's going on, but I'm still there. Knowing that I'm doing my best and doing my all, that's the challenging part. If you could sum up like everything the Lord has been teaching you in this season, what would you think that would be? That he's teaching me to, you know, stop for a minute and just be thankful for every single little thing that he's given. For sure, he's teaching me to slow down. You know, oh, I'm, I'm too busy to pick my Bible up and, well, no, no, you're not. I'm not now. My small group, you know, instead of once a week, now I'm reaching out, you know, hey, look, guys, you know, I need prayer for this. With not being able to go to church, I feel like we've been more connected with church than ever, honestly, because like with dad, and, you know, he's got all this entrance that he's able to interact with these, everybody online. And um, it's it's a lot and it's been good for him. To not be hard on myself um, in this season, but just, you know, give yourself a pat on the back, even though things don't go right as a mother. Watching that one right there, <laughs> it's okay because um, in the end, everything would work out. So do you have any like funny moments or even just joyful moments that you can share with the people at home? So our little girl is learning to crawl. Her brother is right behind her, but she is definitely almost everywhere now. Slipping all over the place. She's doing it safely, of course. Dab and I had a moment. Dab really has like this big heart for homeless people. Like it's so huge. And we were <clears throat> we were having lunch at Sonics and there's a guy on the corner just looks super rough and dad was like, make sure you stop at the light when you leave. I want to give him some money. And I said, well, how much money are you going to give him? He said, everything in my pocket. And I said, you're going to give him all your money? He goes, well, yeah, he needs it more than me. Look what's going on right now. And I was just like, oh. <laughs> Esther may starting to discover her tongue. She gibberishes all the time. Actually, right out the door, right now. That is May May, who is now taking over my Zoom. Bye! Bye! Oh, there she goes.